Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to do an unboxing video. Um, recently I received an email from Shelly at Big Tree Tech. Um, she's with their social media team. And she reached out to me to offer me um, the opportunity to partner with them. Uh, and they sent me a Big Tree Tech Nomi, which is a little display device that mounts on the front of the Stealth Burner tool head, as well as an EBB SB2240. Um, CAN bus board. So I'm just going to record a short unboxing video and then in a future video I'll probably show you um, how I mount them on uh, the Stealth Burner tool head on my workbench here and we'll do a workbench video that shows basically the products in action. But for today we're just going to do the unboxing video. So let's look at the Nomi first. I can get this open. A little bit of product literature here. QR code to link to the site. So the Nomi is, and I believe, don't quote me on this, it's a 35 millimeter uh, circular display. Um, and as I mentioned before, the idea is it will mount into the front of the stealth burner tool head like this. There's a special printed part that replaces the, the uh, stealth burner fan cowl. Um, and then let's see what else we got in here. A little wires to connect it to presumably the um, tool head board or, or motherboard. All right, so that was simple enough. Uh, so thank you to Big Tree Tech for sending that along and more content will follow related to the Nomi. Now we're gonna have a look at the CAN EBB uh, SB2240. Um, so one of the uh, commonly um, mentioned complaints, I guess, about the SB2240 is that it uses these very small, tiny, Let's pull that out of the bag, maybe you can see it a little better. Um, I call them Pico Blade connectors. Uh, there's probably another JST designation for them, but they're really rather small. And crimping those is a bit of a pain. So they've been uh, kind enough to include pre-crimped wires in the kit so that you don't have to go about crimping those yourself. Uh, so that's one part. And then here we have uh, a heat sink that will go on the TMC2240 uh, chip that's on the board. I'll package it all up again later. And uh, here we have, let's orient it properly, this is the SB2240 uh, board. So that heat sink actually mounts on this little metal pad here because the chip that it's going to uh, protect is on the back side and it uh, basically absorbs the heat through this metal, this metal pad. So that heat sink that we saw there will just mount basically right like that. And then we have, you know, as I mentioned, the small Pico blade connectors. They are rather tiny, um, but they're serviceable. They work. Uh, we have a number of different fan headers uh, where you have voltage selectable fans. And then these pins are to connect to the front board, uh, which mounts in the fan shroud on the stealth burner. And I'll pull that out now. Maybe, maybe I'll pull it out. Having technical difficulties. There we go. All right, so um, this is the uh, SB0000 CAN board. And as I mentioned, it mounts to, and I may have this orientation incorrect, so don't, uh, don't follow me exactly until I do it properly ne next time, but it connects like that to the board. And so we'll be sitting on probably the other way around. Actually, now that I see it, it'll go like this. So it'll mount like that. Uh, this will mount on the side of the stealth burner, basically in here like this. Um, so again, this is just an unboxing video, but I will uh, give you a demonstration video of the setting up the products and uh, maybe I'll do some, uh, some share of my screen as I'm setting up Clipper for it. Um, and we'll go from there. Let's see what else is in the box. So they also provided a nice um, over molded um, CAN bus cable and so here we have uh, the red is your 24 volt power the black is your ground and then green and yellow are I believe green is your CAN bus high line and yellow is your CAN bus low line but again don't quote me on that I'd have to double check the pinouts uh, but I think that's correct and so that goes into the electronics bay on the bottom of the printer um, into the appropriate devices there. 
And then this is the head that plugs into the um, CAN bus board itself, into the SP2240. And so this is an XT30 uh, 2 plus 2 connector. Um, they're not so common in 3D printing circles, but they are more common in radio controlled uh, vehicles. So RC cars, um, trains, so on and so forth, drones, etc. And so uh, that connects into there. So that's your main feed into the board. What else do we have in here? And again, I'll clean this all up later. So here we have a miscellaneous hardware kit that includes all of the screws, jumpers, and crimp pins, so on and so forth. Let's open that right up. There's a bit going on here. So we have our various crimp pins in a couple of different sizes, and then uh, a selection of connectors and screws and jumpers uh, to manage the board functions. And then what else did they include? Uh, a couple of zip ties to tie all the wiring together, make it nice and neat. And some stickers. Let's see, Big Tree Tech is a sponsor now, uh, I guess sponsor partner maybe, uh, of Clipper, uh, which is the firmware that we run on our uh, DIY printers. So here's their logo, and then here's them uh, promoting Clipper, which is one of their partnerships. And then a card is a thank you. So that's it. Um, as I mentioned, I'll follow up with another video shortly where I will show you both of these products in action. Uh, but for today, thank you for watching the unboxing video, and I hope you had fun.